welcome to a night of total terror. In 1968, George Romero brought us Night of the Living Dead. It became the classic horror film of its time. You must not be lulled by the concept that these are our family members or our friends. They are not. They will not respond to such emotion. Now, George Romero brings us the most intensely shocking motion picture experience for all time. It gets up and kills. The people it kills get up and kill. When there is no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. First came the night, then came the dawn. Now comes the most eagerly awaited day in horror film history. Welcome back to Thursday of the Dead, episode 246. My name is Jace. So if you watched last week, I covered the Monroeville Mall edit of Dawn of the Dead, which is divisive. Uh, And in the comments last week, uh, someone named Marcus... Uh, left a message from Germany asking about if I have seen these German editions of it. And I do collect them from Koch Films. And so this is my latest edition to it. I actually got this a little while ago. This is a little bit older video. Uh, I just didn't get around to posting it. it seemed like a good time now. Uh, so what I like about this is the contents. And they keep kind of making new packaging for it, which I'm all about. I'll buy any packaging for Don Dead, pretty much. Um, what's cool, especially for me about this, is when I went to Living Dead Weekend for the first time last year, uh, this print I actually bought from Tom Savini, and I had him sign it. Of course, I need a frame for it now. Now that it matches my steelbook. I don't know who the artist is, but I like the art. Uh, the thing with Koch Films is they put together a great package for Dawn Dead, or Zombie, as it's known in Germany. What I like, and it's included in this set, is they show the actual Super 8 version of Dawn of the Dead, or Zombie. That's in German language. Runs about 45 minutes. It's all beat up. Looks great to me. Looks like an old Grindhouse movie, which is kind of what Dawn of the Dead, the era, was. And so here you're going to see... This is one of my other Koch editions, or Koch films. It's like a media book, 4K. Cool artwork. Here's another one with the German poster art, which I used to own. And they're basically, the contents of the discs are all pretty much the same. Uh, These are the same as the big special edition. It's kind of like the second sight. Uh, how they have their big box set and they have kind of a scaled down version with some of the content on it. I like this because it's like the big box VHS style. This too. I have this poster somewhere. They're just cool to collect. And here is the Big Daddy. This is my second favorite uh, Dawn of the Dead release, special edition. Uh, This is the Koch Film special edition box. Uh, It has Not only the 4K and all those cool special features, it has poster reproductions, uh, reproduction of the German press book, I think lobby cards, uh, but they're like strange shape. They're like 12 by 12. So weird form factor, but I like it because it's Dawn of the Dead. On that note, I'm going to actually be going to Los Angeles tomorrow to go see Goblin perform a live score for Dawn of the Dead at the Orpheum in Los Angeles. Never thought I'd get to see this. And I think part of it is due to like the rights issues. Uh, They couldn't do a screening of Dawn and perform it because they couldn't license it because it's so expensive. And now because of the 45th anniversary release, they're doing three different performances across the country. One of them is in LA, Wounds in New York, and I think the other one is Kentucky or some some place like that, somewhere in the middle. So I'm going to one of them. I'm super excited about that. I never thought I'd get to see Goblin performing along with an actual screening of Dawn of the Dead, which is like the coolest thing ever to me. And hopefully they'll have some merch that I can buy there that's Dawn of the Dead related. Hopefully I get to meet them again. I got some. I got a record signed by them. Uh, last time I saw them, 
and it was really cool to meet them. Very friendly. Uh, Claudio Simonetti is one of my heroes, and I don't know if I'll get a chance to really interact with him much. I'm sure it's going to be crazy there. Uh, my seats were pretty inexpensive. They're up in the balcony, but it's Dawn of the Dead. I know what it is. I really want to see Goblin and hear Goblin performing those tracks live along with the, the actual movie, which is going to be great. And I'm not sure, I'm assuming they're going to be showing the theatrical cut because this is the 45th anniversary of the theatrical cut. It would be cool if they did this with the Argento version of Dawn because there's more Goblin music. So next week will be my report about that Dawn of the Dead screening along with any footage I can get and maybe hopefully a picture with Goblin. We will see. So if you're in the LA area playing on March 24th at the Orpheum Theater, I don't know if tickets are still available. Uh, Maybe you'll see me there. Maybe you won't. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Talk about Goblin.